What can I help you find today? For hardware store manager Kevin Crone. Okay. How are you, sir? What can I help you find today? Life is all about serving others. It doesn't matter what my job is. My first, uh, my first mission is to help the customer. But it's hardly Crone's first mission. This is talking about what we did while we were over there. 25 years after coming home from the Gulf War. And the captain came across and said that we had struck a mine. Crone still struggles through a mental war. Looking at this stuff, the, about the triply hitting the mine and stuff, that brings back a lot of stuff. And, and, and it's just been there, and you just deal with it. I'm a Marine, I deal with it. In recent years, Crone began dealing with a physical battle that he couldn't fight alone. Waking up in the morning and having your body feel like it's concrete is, is quite a hard thing to deal with, and I dealt with it for, for a long time. It's called Gulf War illness and it's a chronic multi-symptom illness uh, in veterans following the first Gulf War. Uh, it's characterized by chronic musculoskeletal pain, issues with cognition, so concentration problems, remembering words, memory, um, and fatigue. After years of joint stiffness and pain, Crone sought help in the form of a study run by UW kinesiology professor Dane Cook at the Department of Veterans Affairs in Madison. And exercise has been shown, especially in the, in the illness fibromyalgia, to be very effective at reducing that, those feelings of pain. What we want to do is we want to see, can we use chronic exercise training to do the same thing in veterans with widespread pain? The soldier went back to following orders, this time from his trainer, Angie. It's very heavy, Angie. Who put him through 16 weeks of workouts. A little bit of burn. The hard work paid off. I do know that the, that the exercise routine that was provided to me did make me feel substantially better, and it, it, it also made me feel healthier. Now the research team tries to figure out if a healthier body equals a healthier mind for those suffering from GWI. We expect a certain neural response when we give them pain. We expect a certain neural response when they, we ask them to distract themselves from pain. But interpreting that over time as whether or not that reflects treatment is the current unknown. The study will continue for the next two years as Cook's team aims to conquer GWI. I want to learn something that then moves the field forward. Until then, Crone will continue to do what he does best. Hey, Karen. Serve. How's it going? 